Your Avanti's grown, Dom. It has, yeah. I do like the Avanti a lot. Uh, I've, we've had the free wing Avanti, Jay, haven't we? 18 millimeter Three EDF. of them. We've got three of them, I think, between we, us. Yeah, and they're fantastic. We've got a, a KingTech K45G3 turbine powered free wing Avanti. Love that as well. We were racing that last weekend at the Popper Model Show, at ED, uh, 8S of EDF versus the turbine version. They kept pretty much together, except die. the, the uh, turbine version had more vertical. But the question is, where do you go after that? And bigger is the answer. So this is the Sebart Avanti XS, 1.9 meter wingspan, um, molded um, fiberglass fuselage, built up uh, plywood uh, wings and um, horizontal stabilizer and uh, rudder elevator. So I've put a Schubler, <laughs> haven't economized on this at all, put a Schubler uh, 120 millimeter EDF fan. Uh, draws about 140 amps at full throttle. On how many S? 14S. 14S. So in here I've got 14S 12,000 so that's that's two banks of two 6S 6000 and a two S 6000. So those three packs on either side serial together and then parallel together to give the 12 to give the 12,000. Use yeah. So as simple as that. Now I didn't buy this new. I bought it second hand. It was a uh, a turbine. Um, the guy had flown it on a turbine, so it had the fuel tank in here. It was just a case of taking that out. And basically where the fuel tank is on the CG, that is where the lipos are. And uh, yeah, uh, soldered a harness together to uh, plug into the two connectors into the speed controller to give me the 14S12000. All right, so I think we're ready. Range tested and balanced. 23 centimeters from the leading edge. Let's let's see if we can get it in the air.
yeah, I enjoyed that. It was, you know, I didn't do anything uh, dramatic. I trimmed out for level flight. I did a few fast passes. That each pass was more or less on full throttle. Um, but uh, yeah, really good. Had enough power to get off the patch and about half the length of the strip. So brilliant. The, the, I mean, why? You might be asking, why would I do a big EDF project like this? And the truth is, there are less and less places where you can fly turbine jets, even small turbine jets. Here, particularly because uh, of the perceived fire risk of flying turbine jets. That's arguable. I know you could say lipo-powered models. There's a there's a fire risk, but you have to respect what clubs decide. So. I invested in this and I'm really happy. It sounds pretty good. Sounds like a turbine. It sounds jet. beautiful, doesn't it? It, sounds it really, really does. Good. And there's enough power there to do nice aerobatics. It's not a speed model. If I wanted to go flat out fast, I would probably choose a different EDF system, but it's got enough. It won't have enough for unlimited vertical like a turbine would, but it's like the 80 millimeter EDF Avanti from Freewing. It'll do nice aerobatics and that's really what it's all about. So thanks for watching this flight test. Really excited to fly this more and find out what it can do. Thanks to Jay on camera. No problems. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in these types of projects, and we're gonna be doing a lot more of, of these, I've just, just decided that after that being so successful, then uh, please subscribe. You might wanna click on the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads and live streams. You might wanna consider um, becoming a member because we upload, we well, we create lots of video content, really good stuff, and there's like 50, 60 videos up there exclusively for members who sponsor us. It costs less than a cup of coffee, the price of a cup of a co coffee per month, and it uh, means we can do a lot more stuff. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Cheers. Get in! <laughs>